what is up YouTube? Welcome back to Dante's Rant Room and I am your host Dante here to give you daily updates and commentary on controversial topics in anime, manga, gaming nerd, and geek culture. Alright, so the topic of toxic masculinity in gaming has been around for quite some time now. We aren't allowed to enjoy violent video games without some soft individual coming at us to explain how it's probably toxic to cuss in the chat or something like that we can't enjoy games like god of war doom dante's inferno or more because men these games have been labeled as toxic and now we have this <laughs> oh boy it's even sh I'm more shocking and i'll be surprised but i'm sure this person considers themselves a um game journalist but anyway we have this from collider platoon 3 provides a welcome to welcome reprieve from gaming's toxic masculinity what bro what are you talking about man <laughs> yeah um you, if you just said toxic gamers or something like that i probably wouldn't have cared as much but toxic masculinity though Really? <laughs> For anyone sick of toxic gamers, cruelty, and gore, Platoon 3 provides the perfect way to kick back. It, it seems to me that you are probably new or a noob to gaming because in case you're not aware, Matt Shore, who, who is the writer of this article, there are many a games that don't have violence, gore, cruelty, and, and stuff like that, okay? Um, they, they've been it's been around for years now. Splatoon 3 isn't really groundbreaking, it's groundbreaking in terms of how it's played, and it's it's new. Yes, I understand that, but the genre of gaming, this not the game with no violence, is not new to any of us. So, I don't know why you're praising it as a reprieve from toxic masculinity. <laughs> um, let's, let's see what this. Uh, article has to say and before I continue please consider hitting the red subscribe button for more content like this and nerd and geek culture fam we are very close to a thousand uh, guys thank you guys for supporting me for commenting liking sharing or st and stuff like that please consider hitting the red subscribe button hook a brother up I really appreciate that follow me on social media like Twitter and Instagram Dante's Rant Room and um <laughs> Yeah, ready for this? Let's <laughs> see what this guy has to say. So it says the uh, yeah, sorry, the Platoon series is a fresh take on a familiar genre. Though players can eliminate their opponents in classic shooter fashion, the primary objective of an online turf war battle is not to rack up um, bodies, but to cover the ground on each arena with as much ink as possible. Yes, it's a fun game. Okay. In practice, this makes Platoon and its sequels colorful, cartoony, alternatives to the often grim, cynical multiplayer shooters like Call of Duty or Grand Theft Auto Online. See, what you're doing, which is, I don't, I don't understand what made you do this. You literally compared adult video games to a children's game. Because Platoon 3 is ready E. It's for kids. And they're not going to make a, a kitty game in which you're giving you live uh, rounds where you can, just, you can shoot someone's um, brains out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're not going to do stuff like that. So why would you even compare adult games to children's games? This is where you're already jacked up already. After this, there's no way anyone should be taking you seriously. <laughs> What are you even talking about, my guy? You just wanted an excuse to attack masculinity. That, that's all you wanted to do. You would have been better off if you just said that's all you wanted to talk about. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm ranting. But you guys see what I'm talking about, though, right? Anyway, once again, features a series of popular candy coated aesthetic and mad cat paint sprain action. Its, ma its main hub area, Splatsville, around. Uh, abounds with player-created fan art showcasing Splatoon-themed takes on popular memes, 
surprisingly skillful portraits of the game's inkling and outling characters and signs of support for the LGBTQ community. Ah. Is that it? <laughs> Bro, what? For anyone sick of toxic gamers, cruelty or gore, Splatoon 3 might provide perfect way to kick back a fun, lighthearted online uh, shooter with creative and compelling gameplay. Like I said, I will admit that Splatoon did do something a bit different compared to most E-rated games, but games that doesn't involve bloodshed, gore, butt kicking. This is not new to us in the gaming community. It's been what? <laughs> there are a plethora of games you could play that doesn't have violence and also quite colorful. This is what, bro? <laughs> Did someone cuss you out in the game chat, bro? Is that what it is, Matt Shore? That's your name, right? Did someone cuss you out in the game chat? You just this because it seems to me you just salty as heck, my man. Wow, and this is literally an article of just non-stop nothingness. It's just him complaining about toxic masculinity in video games. That's it. <laughs> that is all this guy is talking about. Okay, it says, um, <clears throat> Platoon games are popular with a wide variety of games regardless of age or personal identity because of their focus on fun, frantic gameplay and self-expression. I don't care about self-expression. <laughs> anyway, rather... Then solely appealing to one type of stereotypical hyper masculine gamer. Between 3 gives players opportunity to express themselves and share what makes them unique via their play style, personal attire, and artwork. Why do you always why are you so hyper focused on masculinity? You know that there are also a lot of women who play games that are just as bad in the chat or anything just like the men are but you know what i always say it's always popular it's popular now to just attack men because that doesn't come with any pushback because <laughs> you know patriarchy and stuff like that you know what i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> like if you don't like games like call of duty Dante's inferno doom uh god of war <laughs> then just don't play it because it, it seems to me like a skill issue. You just don't want. You just don't have what it takes to play games like that. And now this is what makes you happy. You're in a, in a space where you feel comfortable. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't come in and bashing masculinity because you just couldn't cut it playing more. You know, mature video games, Mr. Matt Shore. You feel what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> wow. What do you think about this article? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I really appreciate that. Um, goes on to say, let's see, it's part of what you wanted to read. It says, many games feel limited in terms of representation of for female and LGBTQ gamers, but Platoon 3 places fashionable and fun female characters at the forefront and allows players to, to style and represent themselves in a way that matches their personalities and identities. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks to inclusive art posts and positive welcoming messages to played around the game's main social hub, Platoon 3 functions as a community where gamers can be themselves no matter what their sexuality and or gender expression, which is all too necessary in the online space with a tendency to marginalize them or pay them lip service without providing proper safety tool for their online experience. Now in terms of representation, talking about like, oh, expressing yourself, yeah, of course, you can do, a lot of E-rated games are Lighthearted, you can do stuff like that in a lot of E rated games. Like like I said, Platoon 3 is unique in the way it's you're allowed to express yourself. I'll admit to that. But you're also comparing an E rated game to mature games, bro. <laughs> but many Platoon 3 players credit the game's dearth of rampant toxicity to something that is that it lacks built in voice chat. While most modern online uh, shooters allow or force players to hear the teammates. Communication in Platoon 3 is limited to preset text. Chat which phases out phrases like this way, ouch, or booyah. Um, through the text options are extremely limited, even compared to other games with built-in chat. So you want a protected community. That's what it seems like. And <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know what to tell you, but this like I said, this is just a, a awful 
and ridiculous article just to attack masculinity. And it's silly. And you consider yourself a game journalist to me baffles me. And you know what I'm saying? And you comparing E-rated games to mature games, once again, is just the dumbest thing you could ever do. Like I said, I do love Splatoon 3. It's a fun game. But I'm not comparing this to, uh, like I said, Doom or Scorn. <laughs> you know? You're just an idiot. <laughs> I'm not sure. You're an idiot. Seek help. Breathe air. <laughs> okay? That's all I got for this episode. It's just, just freaking ridiculous. It's so dumb. I don't want to complete the article. It's just nonstop complaining about how other games are just too hardcore and Splatoon 3 is basically a safe space for everybody else. That's all it's about. And why do you even vote toxic masculinity? If you just said toxic gamers, I don't think anyone would care. But really, <laughs> you, you wanted an excuse to attack men. That's all you have to say, bruh. That's all I got for this episode. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now subscribe. Make sure you subscribe for more content like this. The Nerdy Geek Culture. Let's keep on growing this community and call out bullshit like this in the entertainment business. Most, I mean, Nerdy Geek Culture. I really appreciate your support. And, um, and please don't go find this guy and harass him on whatever. Don't do that, though. All right? Anyway, see you guys next time. Peace.